Welcome to Twitchimo Studio. In this cartoon animator 5 tutorial, part 2, we will continue drawing the body of a simple character using the vector program Inkscape. Let's get started. Start up Inkscape by selecting the file, simple character head, .svg. There is a link in the description. Go into the Layers and Objects tab and select all the paths and rectangle file. Right click and go to group, rename the group to head. Now lock that folder so that we cannot change any of the head paths. Create a new layer and move it below layer 1. We will use this layer for the body. Select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle for the body. Go to Fill, and Stroke, and adjust the color. Select the Paths, by Nodes button, and pull down, the top right circle, to adjust the curve of the rectangle. Duplicate the body, and we will use part of it, for the pants. Grab the brazier tool, and draw a line, and then, around the top of the image. Select both the new line, and the duplicated image. Then, path at the top, and difference. Let's select a new color, for the pants. Draw another rectangle, for the belt. Pull the round corner up, to give us square corners. Draw a second square, for the belt buckle. We just want the stroke, with no fill color. To select the stroke color, hold down shift, while selecting. Move the buckle, over the belt.
Select both the belt and buckle. Hit align to center into place. With both still selected, go to object and the group. Move the belt in place and adjust it to the width of the pants. Now, select all of them, and group them together. Move them into place over the body. Draw a new rectangle for a leg. Again, select the paths button and adjust the, the rectangle to have rounded ends. Duplicate a second leg, and move it into place. Move both legs, behind the body layer. Select the body and legs, and move both into place. Draw a long rectangle, for an arm. Rotate it to 45 degrees. Move it into place. Duplicate the arm, use the flip tool, and move it into place. Go to, object, then group. Select both arms and body, and then align. Ungroup the arms. I forgot to record this step. I removed all the strokes so there would not be any outlines in the body. Using the brazier tool, 
draw a line across the bottom of the leg, and close the path. Select both the leg, and the path. Go to path, then difference. Draw a new rectangle, with rounded corners, for the ankles. Move it into place, and center it. Let's draw, another rectangle for the shoe. Remove the rounded corners. Use the color picker, and change the fill color to brown from the belt buckle. Go to path, object to path, so we can edit it. With the nodes button, edit this into a shoe, and then place it into place. Select the ankle, and move it behind the leg. I was having problems selecting the ankle, so let's move it, away from the body, and group them together. Hit duplicate, and move it over to the other side. Use the flip tool, then move the leg into place. Our character's neck is too long. Let's adjust it. Don't forget, to ungroup the head under the object tab, and, unlock the head under the layers and objects tab. Now we can adjust the image. So, this is our simple character, using the vector program Inkscape. In part 3, we will be setting up the file structure, so we can import him into Cartoon Animator 5. If you haven't done so already, please take a few seconds to subscribe, like and hit notifications, to be notified of my next video. Thank you, for joining my journey of animation.